Well, ahoy, cruise nerds. A very good morning, and welcome back to the beautiful island of Castaway Key. <laughs> we are officially docked, but we have not yet been cleared by the local authorities. So right now, Mama Ronnie and I are going to head down to 1923 for breakfast this morning, and then we're also going to do the Royal Gathering, which we were able to snag two spots for this morning. And... We're going to go from there. We're going to go to the island after that. But in the meantime, let's go enjoy some breakfast down in 1923. Well, it looks like they have cleared the Disney Wish. Looks like guests are starting to go off. cruise nerds so we came back to the cabin after breakfast and we got changed as you can see and I got my backpack ready because we're going out to Gasway Key to enjoy some barbecue to get some photos to enjoy the island and all in all just have a nice girls day on Castaway Key
Well, ahoy cruise nerds. So we came out to the island. We enjoyed Cookie's barbecue as you saw in the ribs today. We're actually pretty good. And Mama Ronnie had some watermelon as well. So that was actually, it looked good. Um, but the barbecue ribs today was actually really good here on Castaway Key. And you can't beat the ribs. Really good. Anyways, so cruise nerds. So got to, I went out to the water and it was actually cool. It wasn't cold like it normally is when we go and enjoy the water, but it was cool. So the water is war uh, warmer than it has been. And, and the view of the beach, the view in the nice warm weather, it was partly cloudy, but nothing to worry about. So it's just a nice way to end a lovely vacation with Mama Ronnie. And, but we still have more to come because tonight we are celebrating Halloween. There's a lot to do uh, tonight besides packing to go home, but there is a lot to do. There's going to be candy at 5 o'clock, I think, up on deck 11, so go to get that. And some other fun Halloween on the high seas, cruise nerds. So let's head back to the ship, get a shower, and head out some, for some more fun. See you back on the ship, cruise nerds. Right, Christmas. So we came back to our lovely stateroom. So we got our luggage tags today, and this time we are in Tinkerbell. Now, if you do need more luggage tags than what was provided to you by your housekeeping team, you can do one of two things. One, you can go by guest services and request them there, or you can give them a call, and housekeeping can bring some more to you. Just let them know how many you need. So, and also, the last day of your cruise, you actually would need to be on channel one. And you can see our lovely cruise director, Christian, right now. And he is explaining everything and he's going over that. And that will start about 12 o'clock noon and it will go on repeat for the remainder of the voyage. And that is on channel one. That is going to be your best friend channel for everything that you will need for questions to be answered. Well, ahoy, cruise nerds. So, welcome back onto the ship. So, we have our other Booty shirts on, me and Mama Run. But right now, we're going to go trick-or-treating. There are two times, at least for this cruise, there are two times, 5 o'clock and 5.30. And it's all up on Deck 11 for all ages, according to the app. So, uh, we're going to go trick-or-treating Disney Cruise Line style. And well, ahoy, cruise nerds. So, yeah. We came back to the room. So, trick or treating. <laughs> um, how can, how can I say this, cruise nerds? Um, they don't have it down yet. <laughs> what she said, <laughs> cruise nerds. You heard Mama Ronnie. They don't have it down yet. Obviously, this is the first cruise uh, Halloween on the high seas cruise. Uh, it's been a year since the last Halloween season. However, there was only two tables. Uh, for well three so to speak one table is for allergy friendly candy and then the other two tables are for bags that you receive and you you only get a small oh a handful not even a, about a handful of candies it's not like the halloween party at magic kingdom or on the other ships. Or on the other ships. Because I know on the Disney Dream, as at least last Halloween season, there were different stations where you can go trick-or-treating. And you can get candy at each station. And then there was one station with allergy-friendly candy. But here, there was three tables. Two of which, you would just go and get a bag and you're done trick-or-treating. And then, of course, they had the allergy-friendly one. Now... The allergy friendly, at least for this cruise, of course, they can change it up from this point forward. So at the time of this recording, it can be different. But the allergy friendly candy station was the closest to Inside Out Joyful Sweets store, which is aft on the starboard side. And then if you go further, closer to midship where the pool decks are, where the bar is, that is one of two tables for the candy where you can get the bag with candy. And then the other one is near Goofy's Grill. The one that has the burgers and other food items there. And then you get your bag. It's one bag per guest in each stateroom. You don't get more. There's two times 
cruise nerds want. At least for this cruise, it was 5 o'clock and 5.30. And then there was a little bit of confusion at first, but they, they did start doing it, I would say, a few minutes after 5.30. But after that, it was pretty smooth, for, so to speak. And then they also had a dance party going on up on deck 11 midship with some of the entertainment team just doing some music and dancing to the rhythm of it so that was going on about five between five and five thirty. Two times for candies five o'clock and five thirty. and then that was pretty much it for the time being and then later tonight about 7 45 up on deck 11 they will have mickey's masquerade party which now they do have portraits tonight on Halloween that is in front of Boo which is the pumpkin tree in the Grand Hall and then they will have special magic shots as they call it with the pumpkin tree but it was actually really nice but overall there's definitely room for improvement and of course this season is going to be a fun season for a Halloween on the high seas so I do hope if you do have a Halloween on the high seas uh, cruise booked for this season of 2024. I do hope you have a great time. Now if you do have questions about that you can definitely comment down below and I can definitely try to answer the best I can about those areas. I am starting to fill out the luggage tags for us. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Like I mentioned earlier we are in Tinkerbell so it's pretty self-explanatory cruise nerds so you can probably see right there um, the different ones that you have to uh, fill out. There's the number of pieces that you're checking, your stateroom number, your name, address, the whole nine yards. So depending on how many pieces of luggage you're doing, for example, like us, we are doing one of or two pieces. So for example, for us, we would do one of two and two of two on that and we would fill out the rest of the information. What we, Mama, Mama Ronnie likes to do, here's a trick for you guys. You can take a picture or if you have an extra one, Mama Ronnie likes to put an extra luggage tag on her bag because it helps her, once she gets into the terminal, where her luggage is located. So that definitely comes in handy, doesn't it, Mama Ronnie? It does. Oh, it comes in handy for sure. And that will help you once you get in the terminal where your luggage is located. And there will be porters available. And they come in handy, especially if you have little ones and you're possibly a single mama or if you're a mom with little ones and your husband yes I know who you are dad um then uh you 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 have those porters to help you with the luggage to get to either the buses or to your car in the term in the parking garage across the way and then you'll be able to get assistance there but just wanted to kind of point that out with the luggage tags but in the meantime, cruise nerds, I'm going to go finish up getting ready for dinner and go take some more pictures for the unlimited photo package. See you around, cruise nerds. Oh, all right, cruise nerds. So we are headed off to go get pictures. But we are drinking our wine, the Rosa Verdale, in our little wine cooler thingy that we got. Ooh, uh, wine sippers, as Mama calls them. Sorry. Um, anyways, uh, cruise nerds. So we are going to go enjoy these backdrops enjoy the last bit of vacation number one and it is going into retirement week number four okay cruise nerds we're counting but anyways cruise nerds i'm gonna stop here for now i'm gonna stop my yapping and we're gonna head straight on down to grand hall see y'all soon Holy cruise nerds, so we went down, well, we went up to the masquerade party and got a quick glimpse of that, and then we came down, got some photos. So it's been a very busy evening. So now we are going 
Do -do -do to Arendelle. So this is my favorite restaurant and Anna's too. And of course this is the home of Olaf's Royal Picnic. So that is a separate price, $220 approximately. I think they just changed the price of Olaf's Royal Picnic. I think it went up. I will check on that. But let's go and enjoy a little bit of Arendelle. See you soon. Just watching the hours take fun. Do you want to build a snowman? As tradition, Anna, you gotta do it. Hang in there, Joan. So we came back to the stateroom to get our luggage out and we came back to a pumpkin. Of course it's Halloween here on the high sea so they are amazingly talented housekeeping team made something very spectacular this year. Awesome job housekeeping team. Awesome job. Heroes, adventurers, families, and friends. And we've gathered once again in the Grand Hall to light our wishing star as your once upon a time becomes a wishing ever after. But first, I need to know about your stories. I need to know who was joined by our rocky, rowdy pirate crew. Let me hear you say, ah! Oh! with the greatest heroes of all time. Let me hear you say that they just a symbol. I can see those hero poses, that's right. But wait, did anyone go to Arendelle? Well, here on the Disney Wish, the story never ends. So we never say goodbye. We say until we meet again in the next chapter. Because the most wonderful thing about a fairy tale wish is that you can make it on a star. Any star. Oh wow, that really was magical. But do you think we should invite our Disney friends out for a font farewell? Yeah! Then let's welcome them back to the stage, everyone. It's your favorite Disney friends. Put your hands together. Well, ahoy, cruise nerds. We took our pictures down. That just means we're almost to the end of our cruise. But of course, the cruise does not end until we get home. Or get off the ship. But now, it's about 11.30 at night. I'm gonna go get one last drink upstairs for the evening. So we got to watch the, uh, farewell show that's here on board have the wishing ever after show which is uh, which is nice and um, 
it's a cute little sea real soon type of thing. Um, and this cruise went by so fast. It felt like we just got on and now we're going off. And now mom and I have to go home and get ready for the next cruise, which is in a week. But, uh, which is going to start from Vancouver and end home in Hawaii. Excited about that. But in the meantime, cruisers, let's go upstairs real quick. Get one last drink. Bye for now. Well, ahoy, cruise nerds. Well, I went upstairs, got my drink, and I saw that they were playing Haunted Mansion. And I went ahead and watched the rest of it. And now I'm back at the cabin, or the safe room. And it's rocking pretty good tonight. I think we're starting to feel those storms that are up in the Carolinas area. But this is where I'm going to call it a night. We got to get up early because I want to make sure I help mom get ready to drive home for tomorrow. And I will see y'all in the morning for one last breakfast aboard the Disney Wish. See y'all soon.